Let's talk a little bit about the, the right hand because this is a crucial uh, topic for me and it's, it's, a, it's a crucial topic for all flat pickers. So uh, let me start saying that we should spend more and more time uh, training the right hand uh, because we really need a clean, a solid, uh, even right hand. So all of the concepts we've been talking about are useless if the right hand is not doing uh, his job properly. So anyway, I like to, to, to rest my hand and touch the top of the guitar. That's what I do all the time. Uh, sometimes uh, if I, if I want to play over the sound hole, I end up using my pinky and my ring finger, something like this. Sometimes if I need to, to have a brighter sound, I, I like to move back here. In this case, I'm uh, resting the heel of my hand over the, the end pins here. And um, what's important is that I'm not really making any pressure uh, on, the, on the pins or any pressure with my fingers. That's very important. Just be relaxed. And um, so when, when I'm holding my hand like this, the, the fingers here are, are closed. You see, if I'm here, are they more open? So it's, it all depends on what I'm playing and uh, if it is slow, if it is fast, if uh, it depends on the, on the tone I want to, to have. And um, talking about the pick, I like to use this pick. This is a fairly heavy pick. It's 1.2 millimeters. And, um, and uh, your, the pick is your best friend. Uh, that's the, the truth. So means that I'm always using the same one and um, for the most most of the time. And uh, it's not that I just go home and I pick the take the first pick that is on my desk. This is what I use all the time because I'm used to it. And it's thick and is big. It's a little bigger than uh, the, the teardrop shape. That's the way I like it. And uh, again, this is a matter of personal taste. I'm just showing you what I what I use. And uh, but uh, I would say that never uh, uh, always try to try uh, new picks. Always, uh, whenever I go to a music store, I love to to come home with some new picks because because every pick has its own sound, its own tone, and uh, and um, so. That, that's my advice. Anyway, this is the pick I'm using now. It's a blue chip and I'm really, really happy with it. And, um, and talking about the pick, uh, something that is very important is the way you angle your pick. So usually it is good to angle the pick a little bit like this, that is forward, right? So on the way down with my downstrokes, I'm touching this part of the the pick on the way up I'm touching the other edge of the pick so that's why there is a bevel that is that is actually this bevel is comes with the pick but uh, uh, you can create that just picking and uh, picking uh, using the, 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 the pick long enough uh, again uh, I like to use a downward angle when I'm picking and sometimes I go flat and again this is just a matter of personal taste uh, when you are playing with a flat pick uh, with no angle at all there is a there is a dramatic change in the tone I guess that uh, you can hear it very good that very clearly this is brighter and so again uh, be aware of all these little details that are not so little after all and um, so again uh, I think that uh, it is good to spend a fairly good amount of time practicing the, the right hand and uh, making it solid even and strong. <laughs>